A dog owner is demanding accountability after his dog died in a pit bull attack this weekend at Duran Beach. Luke Laporta says three pit bulls broke free from a rope a man was using to walk the dogs. As Alex Love reports, he's now urging fellow pet owners to be more responsible. Unfortunately, you know, it's not the dog's fault. On Saturday, Luke Laporta's mom was walking their dog Jasper on the beach when one of three pit bulls being walked by a man ahead of her got loose and came charging towards them. Laporta believes the pit bull sensed Jasper's fear and attacked. But what if that was a child running by and the dog reacted to that child? I mean, that child would have been torn apart. This is something that needs to be really paid attention to. We cannot just have aggressive dog dogs running around without proper leashing, proper collars, proper harnesses. Be aware of your surroundings. Police say the owner was walking the pit bulls on a rope for a leash. Laporta feels this was a poor decision that led to his dog's death. Just a brown rope that was about 20 feet long. The other were extended leashes. And you cannot walk three dogs on an extremely long leash. They need to be on a very short leash with proper, um, like a proper collar on them that is tight. Rochester Animal Control and police were called to the scene. At one point, police say one of the pit bulls broke free of their leash again and charged at an officer who fired one shot towards the dog, but it missed and went into the ground, scaring the dog back to his owner. Laporta hopes the treatment of these dogs at home is investigated. I thought the animal control would take these dogs and properly do what's needed to them instead of the owner taking them home and they said it's up to them to put the dogs down. It's, it's a choice. So these aggressive dogs can still go out and walk. Reporting at Durand Eastman Park, Alex Love, News 8. A city of Rochester spokesperson tells us the dogs accused of attacking the Laporta's dog are required to be quarantined for 10 days at the home of the owner in Webster, and they have to be monitored for rabies. Then the victims or the city can take the owner to court.